Yeah, what is up, Internet? Is your favorite rapper, Killer Keemstar? And, um, basically today, we are going to be teaching you how to solve the uh, 2x2 Rubik's Cube. Now you have other main cubes, like the 2x2, two two, the 3x3, three three, and the Pyraminx. I do not have the Pyraminx solved currently, because I only learned how to solve it like 10 minutes ago, and I forgot. You also have variations of other cubes, like the 4x4, four four, the 5x5, five five, the floppy cube, and last but definitely not the last invented, the vortex cube. Now, it's not that all these cubes aren't all amazing. It's just today, we're only going to be learning about one, the two by two. This is the part in videos you guys don't see. Now, the 2x2 two two might seem intimidating at first, but the 2x2 two two is actually a very easy cube to solve. So first you want to give it a good mix in, and I'm not doing a certain mix up where I'm doing a whole bunch of algorithms backwards, because holy hell that is the hardest thing that I could ever do. As you can see, I'm literally just balling it up in my hands and hoping that it turns. So now that you have mixed up your Rubik's Cube, but you shouldn't have mixed up your Rubik's Cube because it should already be mixed up because you're trying to solve it. Knowledge. So, the main thing that you want to do is you're going to solve the white side. Now, you could solve any other color side, like, for example, if you wanted to solve the pink side, you go over here and then... Um, three, two, one. But but da 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 da. I messed up. But like three, two, one. The pink side solved is side. What? The pink side solved is sol. Hold on. The pink side side is solved. Wait. The pink side is solved. But. It's just going to be a lot harder in general. So screw the pink side. Let's mix up your cube once again. You're going to be solving the white side. So basically, the white side is actually a really easy thing to solve. You just want to get two right there. Boom, now you have three. Now this, this is like the trickiest part. You're going to want to put your last one, like right under this. And if you have it down here, then just like move it. Like... If your last white piece is under the white, like down here, then you're just going to want to move it wherever it is. Let's say your white piece is right here. You're going to want to move it over there so it's directly under the space you want to replace it in. So in this case, it's not under. But your other case could be right here, and you're just going to want to do the same thing. You're just going to want to move it up, and then move this to the side, switch and replace that, and then boom, bada, bang, your white side is solved. The next thing you want to do is solve the upper band of layers, aka the upper layer, people like to call it. So, this is actually really simple. Now, there's two outcomes to this. You can have no sides solved, as you can see, or you can have one side solved, which is where you just have one side solved on your top layer. If you have one side solved, let's like let's say I have these two solved, you're going to want to put it behind you. So it's going to be like this. Let's say these are your two solved sides. You're going to want to put it behind you. But if you don't have any solved sides, just do the following algorithm. Right inverted down right left inverted, down inverted, left, right inverted, down, right. As you can see, I have that first band solved, but nothing else, so I'm going to want to put it behind me and do it again.
right inverted, down, right, left inverted, down inverted, left, right inverted, down, right. And as you can see, that is right because you have the top band solved. Congratulations. The next thing you're going to want to solve is the yellow side. Um, this side could get kind of tricky sometimes. This is what I had trouble doing when I first started cubing, I guess. When I first started, like, learning to solve the 2x2. Two two. So, you have your outer band solved. You have your white side solved. Now you're going to want to put the white side directly under you. So, now the white side's down here and the yellow side's up here. Well, this is where the yellow is supposed to be. So, you can either have four, you can have four outcomes. You can have one yellow piece, two yellow pieces, three yellow pieces, or no yellow pieces at all. Or, you can already have the yellow piece solved. Or instead, if you already have the yellow piece solved, you just want to skip to this side, to this time. So, if you have one yellow space, or if you have one yellow square on your yellow side, you're going to want to put it in the bottom left. Now, if you have two, you're going to want to put them on the right. If you have three, you're going to want to put the two that are on top of each other and put them on the right, and then you could forget about that other third wheel over there. But if you have none, you're just going to want to do the following algorithm. Okay, we had a uh, corrupted file on that last one, so... Basically, we're going to retry. So, I have one yellow piece, so it is in the bottom left corner. So, you're going to want to do the following algorithm. Right. Up. Right inverted. Up. Right. Up. Up. Down. Or, right inverted. Sorry. And now you still have your white side solved and your band solved, but you're basically going to do this algorithm until you have the yellow side solved, so let's do it again. Now we have the yellow side solved. Congratulations, you're almost there. Now we only have one more step. Got your white side solved, got your band solved, got your yellow side solved. What could possibly be next? So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the white side up and you're going to want to look at the bottom band for any pieces where you could just do this and then solve a side so at this point you have three sides solved and if you don't you're just going to want to do this algorithm you're going to want to have the side that you solved behind you with the yellow part facing up so you're going to want to do this following algorithm. Okay, my brain corrupted again on that last one, so we're just going to restart. So, white side solved, outer band solved, yellow side solved, one side solved. So, put the side that you solved away from you, with the yellow side facing up. And you're going to want to do the following algorithm. Right, Donald Trump? Yes, you are. Right inverted. Face right inverted, back inverted, times two, right, face inverted, right, back inverted times two, right inverted, no, not right inverted, right times two, and then back inverted times two. Now, as you can see, the literal last thing you have to do is solve it. There you go. That's all you have to do. And if you find that your cube isn't solved by now, um, my best bet is to just watch this video over again and, like, teach you. And you could screenshot the algorithms that are on the screen if that can help you. So, yeah. That is how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. If you have any questions, comment that down below. And if this video helped you, give it a like. 
And um, I've never done any really tutorials, and I've especially never done cubing tutorials, so this is a tutorial for you. For you. You're, you're, you're the person sitting behind a computer screen right now. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. If you have something to say for this video, please comment that down below. And as always, subscribe and share with your friends. Bye-bye.